Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Ilya Nishmas, Rachaleya Bas, Reb Chaim Svi. So we are in the middle of Klal He in the Sefer Chavetz Chaim, and Be'ez Hashem today will finish uh, Klal He. This is really the, the last class of the, the second semester, the second series in our classes on the Sefer Chavetz Chaim. And as part of a, a, cl- a conclusion, a closure for this uh, second uh, series, so I want to just broaden the discussion a little, and in the second part of today's shir, we'll discuss the idea of Ayin Toba and how it relates to uh, Lashon Hara and life, and, uh, and that'll be the second half of today's shir. Okay, so in Klal He, the Chavetz Chaim is discussing at this point speaking about someone who's lacking a maila, a mida. Not someone who's doing a virus necessarily, but someone who's lacking a mida. Someone's not intelligent. To say someone's not intelligent, to say someone lacks a gavura, lacks strength, lacks, or lacks wealth. Something lacking in someone's life. So let's just begin with uh, Si'if Dalid. Some of this we saw already, but the Chavetz Chaim repeats it here in, with another angle. Okay. So the Chavetz Chaim writes in Sif Dalit. The Chol Zeh Shekasavnu Afilim Lo Amar Lav Ra'ak Ein Nuchachem Miyane Haolam. The Kol Shekain Im Sipar Li Shesovim Shanchir Shuchachem BaTorah. For Amar Lav Ein Nuchachem Kol Kach Rak Maat Hu Yudei BaTorah. For Yudei Zeh Nismait Madrigas Ol Beinehem Bevad Hu Bechal Lashon Hara Avon Lashon Hara. To say somebody's not intelligent in general is Lashon Hara, but to say someone's not intelligent in Torah. In his knowledge of Torah, and, he, and he's and he's a rav in the city, or he has a, sta- a status in the city, and you're lowering his status by speaking, that he, by saying he doesn't, uh, he lacks wisdom in Torah. That of course is lashon hara. Vafilu emes, even if it's true, kevan shekava. This is a key line. Kevan shekava naso lilo toelis. Since your intention is not for a benefit, rak lahashbeles chaveiro. Your goal is to just lower his level in the eyes of the listeners. But because by doing this, you can cause him damage. You can cause him damage, you can cause him pain. He gives two examples. He's not so knowledgeable. Afilu who emes even if it's true la shenhara gemur he midaraisa ki memayet es kavodo legamre the yorin lumichiaso mamish lumashbil bazer kavod ator v'kiyum mitzvoseha the kaniskir el b'sif beis here he repeats what he, what he said in sif beis that if you say this person is not knowledgeable in Torah you're lowering the, his kavod you might affect his parnasa and you're lowering kavod atora in the neighborhood in general that we discussed at length in sif beis that you're undermining the authority of Torah in the neighborhood, and it's a, it's a big problem. It's a serious, serious Avera of Lashon Hara. Olomar me'enze, almashu ata mechadash nasui b'erazos, ki b'vada yismotei b'levasof k'vodo a'ideze, l'ifnei chavmi v'chamoso, v'yanchei beiso, ki she'isvada lem shemachzika naso b'er l'bala ma'ala k'tano, v'enu chazik b'tzar l'yoser m'ze. Or, a different example, Someone's new to the neighborhood, and, you, and he's newly married, and you say, he's not, he doesn't know how to learn so well, he's not so good in his, he doesn't know so much Torah. So this affects the kavod for, in the eyes of his father-in-law and his mother-in-law, and they realize, oh, that the person who maybe they're helping to support a little bit is not, is not, doesn't, is not so strong in his learning. You'll cause him hezek, you'll cause him tsar. Bechol k'hai gavna, it's aser. It's hard to list all the examples. You give a little to a chacham, a few examples, and, you, and think of your own examples. Well, so this is Aser. And, and again, the Chavazim here is reiterating what he said in Sif Beis, and he goes a little further. So you can't say about someone he doesn't know how to learn. He, does, he doesn't learn well. He's not intelligent. He's not good in his learning. We discussed in the previous class the terrible, terrible repercussions this can lead to, it lowers the Kavad Torah in the neighborhood. But, now, there's a very important footnote here, in footnote Ches, 
But the Chafetz Chaim points out, you know, there are exceptions. He says here, he says here, this is the key line, that your kavana was not for toelis. It was not for a benefit. But it is possible that a person can have kavana for toelis. Oh. So the Chafetz Chaim writes, this is in the, the, towards the middle of the footnote ches. Ulevad kolze kevan she'eno mechaven lishum toelis. Since you have no benefit in mind, rak she'mekane, you're jealous. Al ma she'machzikin es chaveru lechashuv mimenu. You're upset. People think this guy's chashuv when he's not so chashuv. Umechaven lahashpil es madrigoso beinehem. 